So I thought I'd do a fish room tour today. We'll cover most of the big tanks, the cichlid tanks and stuff like that. Um, we'll start with these guys here up in the office. Uh, before we get started, make sure that you do check out AquaticSupportSystems.com for all your fish food needs. We've got the brand new Southern Delight bulk bottles in stock now. Um, Southern Delight has ended the bulk bag program and we've got a newer, better uh, product with the Southern Delight bulk bottles. They're one pound, sometimes more, all the way up to one and a half pound, depending on the formula. Um, bottles that um, have the, uh, the the caps, just like the normal shaker bottles, uh, so that um, much easier for shipping as far as uh, Postal Service isn't going to cause damage to these um, bottles like the old bags. Much better for storage and much better for feeding too. So check them out. Uh, they're all up on the website AquaticSupportSystems.com along with other food and products that we make available to you as well. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to get started with the uh, Amphilophus Citronellus tank, Midas Cichlid, up here in my office. This is Cheeto if you're new to the channel. He's a big male um, Midas Cichlid and that's his female there. Um, nothing's changed with these guys, they're still doing the same song and dance. They're acting like they're ready to spawn. They're hanging out in the cave like they're sometimes protecting fry, which they don't have. Um, just kind of a weird deal. I'm not sure what I need to do different, uh, if there's anything that I can do different. Thinking about uh, changing the temperature a little bit, maybe uh, turning up the heat a little bit in the tank. I I'm not sure. But um, anyway, they're doing well. Um, they're just not uh, breeding at all. Um, although they continuously act like they want to. Um, you can see her tubes down right now. Seems like it's always down. She looks like she's kind of plump and full of eggs. Um, so anyway, that's the situation there. Sorry for all the glare, but uh, this room's got another fish tank, um, a window, computer screens because I work up in here and that type of thing so but they look good they're doing well and uh, one thing I've noticed on her lately too is she's starting to show a little bit more white like she may be kind of going a little piebald um, and uh, I don't know that'd be kind of cool too she was a lot more solid in color before so anyway that's Cheeto that's what's been going on there um, over here, we got the 90 gallon planted tank, doing well, real lush. Added a bunch more shrimp recently, and I'm looking to still add more. You can see a bunch of red cherries here. Got those from Flip Aquatics, high quality shrimp that Rob at Flip Aquatics sells um, at a real good price. Um, he's just really got it going on. Shout out to Flip Aquatics. If you are not familiar, um, check out Flip Aquatics um, YouTube channel um, and also check out uh, their website. Um, they sell all sorts of real good um, shrimp and nano aquaria type stuff. So, but uh, it's doing good. I could easily um, get rid of some Monte Carlo, the carpeting plant, and some Aerial Vietnam, the bushy plant on the rocks, if anybody's looking to purchase that. Um, just uh, shoot me an email. Um, one thing I did add, um, I think since the last one, was uh, I've got this uh, AR Mini. I always uh, pronounce the name poorly, so I'm not even going to do that. This red plant here to kind of give some accents. Um, so um, that's what we got going on there. We'll take you downstairs and uh, show you the tanks down there. All right, we're about to go downstairs, but I wanted to kind of show you what I see every morning. Hopefully they'll do it now, but I'll kind of show you what it's like when the when I first open the door and turn on the light and all the fish kind of start to go nuts. Hopefully this is gonna work. If not, sorry. So a lot of times when I first come down in the morning, they all start to go crazy because they know that I'm the provider of food. You can see, yeah, they're here. Kind of going nuts a little bit, but um, just going to give you a quick overview and then we'll go through each tank. Um, why don't we just start over here this time? Um, 
So, Colossus, the uh, King Confa 9.9 flower horn is still doing well, like always. His nuchal hump seems to uh, be getting bigger lately. Kind of a cool shot of him just looking right at the camera. Um, so yeah, he's doing real well. Um, coloration's looking good. Um, there's going to be a flower horn contest locally here. I think it's this summer sometime in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. At uh, I think it's at Quality Aquatics Pet Shop, which if you watch um, Aquarium Co-op's videos, he talks a lot about them. And he's done some videos where he's stopped by there when he's been in town here. But um, real good fish store. Um, I may, I'm thinking about trying to enter this guy just to see. I've never entered fish in a contest before. Uh, the problem I see with him is his tail is kind of split up a little bit and it's kind of, um, I'm thinking that that may hurt him in the contest. But anyway, I may not even do it, but just been thinking about it. Um, so yeah, um, got a bunch of Brightwell shrimp products here that I'm going to be trying out, but that's in another video. Um, any of you guys that are shrimp keepers, I'll try to do an update on the shrimp tanks coming up soon. But yeah, he's doing good. Um, let's give him a little food here. I'm not going to go through and feed all my fish, but um, I'm going to give him some Southern Delight Large Cichlid. Watch him just chow down on it. Like I said at the beginning of the video too, Southern Delight bulk bottles, we got them in stock. Um, if you haven't seen me talk about it before, Here's what they are. Sorry, it's kind of dark in this area of the basement, but you know, this is just the nano krill. Um, but anyway, enough on that. Um, down below, we got the other Midas pair. Doing well. They have not bred, but um, kind of come to terms that they probably won't. But you never know with fish. Sometimes, you know. Um, I've had other fish that just never breed and then finally one day they do, so we'll see what happens. But they're doing good. As always, this guy's frisky. This is Cheeto's brother. Don't have a name for him yet. Still uh, trying to find a good name. Getting suggestions, let me know. I've had suggestions before, but nothing that I kind of really saw fitting, so. And then uh, the other flower horn, the red magma is up here and doing well as, also, as, as always too. Um, colors have just been really nice on him over the last, I don't know, several months to a year. Um, at one time I thought about getting rid of this guy, but uh, I, don't, I don't see how I could do that um, with how nice he's kind of turned out. Let's see if we can get him to swim down here. So he's doing good. Um, I know I talked about Aquashella a while back. That went well. Um, we went down to Dallas for that. If I met any of you guys there, it was good to see you. If you stopped by the booth and bought um, fish food or shrimp food or anything from me, I appreciate that as well. It was fun meeting a lot of people in person that you know watch these videos and interact on YouTube. Um, so. Um, Looking forward to the Chicago Aquashella and I guess now they moved it to September. Uh, this is the male uh, uh, Rio Blanco Red Tiger Moda from Sean Hyden's uh, line. He's just kind of chilling alone, doing well. Uh, not a whole lot to say about him, but he's still here and uh, um, likes to beat on these uh, sponge filters. All right, we'll uh, head over here and take a look at the Feste pair next. Um, they're doing well. They spawned, uh, as probably before my last video, um, the fry didn't make it. So they're not spawning regularly, but they are spawning, seems like every couple of months or so. I've got the silver dollars in here now. I'm not sure if I had that in the last video or not. But um, 
they're kind of coloring up like they may be ready to spawn again soon. Female's looking great. Doesn't look like she's got a tube down yet, but the male is looking nice as well. Uh, down below, something that uh, I get asked about every time I put out a video is if I want to get rid of some of these Trimax. And the answer now is yes. I got six on this side of the divider here that I'm looking to get rid of. They are a wide variety of size. Preferably would like to get rid of all six in one shot. But I got this big male here. Another one down, you just went into the tube. And then some smaller ones. The smaller ones are probably three to four inches and the big couple big ones are around the eight inch range. There's another big one. They are a little bit nip, nipped up right now. There's been some aggression going on. Um, but you can see some of the different sizes. And uh, so if you're interested, let me know. Um, we can ship via Delta Cargo. Um, shoot me, uh, go to the Aquatic Support Systems website and then find my email on there. I think it's like in the contact or the about area. It's brian at aquaticsupportsystems.com. And let me know if you're interested, we can talk. The reason I'm looking to get rid of them um, is we've got a pair here finally. And I haven't, they, they, they laid eggs. I haven't seen the eggs. I don't know if they're still in there. But, um, you know, her tube was, you know, you can tell what a tube looks like um, if you've got any experience in, in fish breeding. After legs, after legs, after eggs have been laid. And, uh, they, you know, it started that I noticed these two were over by this pot all the time and they had basically, um, through aggression, forced all the other ones down at that end of the tank. And then I started thinking, oh, I bet you they're either pairing up or have spawned. And then I saw she was she was in, in the cave, the flower pot cave here quite a bit. And then I saw, finally she came out and um, her two, it was clearly that she had laid eggs. I haven't shined a flashlight in there or anything to find out, but it's been about a week, so at this point I'm sure if there's if the eggs are still there, they've hatched and there's a pile of wigglers in there. And actually what I'm gonna do right now with you guys. Let's see, I've got the flashlight over here. Okay. Yes I do. I'm just gonna see if we can see anything in here. Nope. So unless there's eggs like on the back of this, on the back of this uh, tile, uh, roof tile here, they've eaten them or, uh, or they didn't survive or something. She still is in there all the time like she's protecting something, so I don't know. I don't want to bother it. We'll see. I've seen weirder things happen where you think that you've lost a, a spawn, and next thing you know, you got three swimmers in a tank. Um, and I've seen that happen a lot with this tank right over here, which we'll talk about next. This is the uh, Hadiensis tank. As you can see, there's fry all over this tank. I pulled some, put them in a grow tank, and then there's some in here. But this is Max short for Maximilian and Midnight. You can see she's all black right now, which is uh, kind of the breeding dress. Um, the weird thing with, the, with these, um, when they do spawn, is they don't seem to keep the fry in a big cloud like a lot of fish. They just end up getting spread all over the tank like you're looking at here. Um, I would probably consider that not the greatest of parenting, but I don't know. This guy is just a beast, by the way. Have I said that before? <laughs> Love this fish. Check him out. Yeah, there you go. It's always cool to get that on film. Pretty protective right now. Um, 
I did try to clean with that mag float down there, um, and uh, they were all over attacking that thing, so. Um, up above here, then, we've got the reddest latest pair along with the uh, Force of Bold Eye in there. I think they're about to spawn. Her tube is dropping a little and their coloration has really um, got a little bit more vivid here in the last few days. Um, especially last night. Um, yeah, they're showing spawning behavior for sure. Um, her nuchal hump has kind of grown a little lately. Um, he's been chasing her around a lot like you're seeing right there. So bold eye, um, were definitely, um, there was a female in, in breeding dress, I think last time I shot a video that has kind of gone away, but anyway, this beast is still doing great, um, love this fish too, he is, uh, just showing off all sorts of great colors and, uh, body shape and everything like that. to spawn with her and he's chasing her all around so he's gonna shot a nice nice little bull die too. Mm -hmm. Yeah that's a good one. Yeah that's a good one. Really starting to like those Sebolde and I'm thinking about getting a uh, maybe a 75 gallon tank just dedicated to some of them. I don't know that I'd ever be able to catch them and get them out of this tank with all the decorations and stuff like that but maybe try to get some more. I don't know. Really starting to dig them though. Crazy on her now. It's unfortunate, but I don't know if she would just get into two. Uh, she'd be fine. There she is. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, um, last video we talked a little bit about a wound on him, wondering if it was hole in the head or not. Um, we're doing good as far as that's concerned. Uh, it was just a wound. Probably trying to get at her in this too right here. Gone. So that's positive. Whoops. I'm on a chair. If you hear that noise, we'll roll over here to Magnus's tank. This is uh, a wild caught pair of uh, real Magdalena umbies, Chronoharis umbariferus. One thing I've noticed on him is his nuchal hump is starting to get bigger again. Um, if you look back on some of the last few videos, it was basically almost non-existent. And uh, now, definitely has some more nuchal, which is cool. They've been acting a little bit different lately. I've got no I know that they're not going to breed again, but sometimes it makes me think they're they're trying. She hangs out over here a lot more, and they they keep clearing out the uh, rock area. And sometimes I'll come down, and she's nice and blonde in color. She's not right now. And they're doing the dance, they're head shaking, and this and that. But I don't know. I, I think they're probably just too old, and he's too rough on her to really. Uh, breed ever again, but I guess, like I said before, I've seen stranger things happen. Let's see if we can get some nice close-up of him. Sorry for the noise that that chair is making here. Got a big pleco turd floating in the water, sorry about that. Um, and then we'll talk about his son. This is Optimus. A stunning specimen, if you will, as far as an umbi goes. And his female friend here, Matrix. She's been in this, um, in this, uh, flower pot for quite some time 
And I think there may, it's hard to tell, but I think there may be some eggs on this wall here. She's like super protective. I went in to try to fix one of the sponge filters last night. She all out attacked me, which she's never done before when I've had my hands in the tank. So there may be some eggs in there, or they may be getting ready to spawn, I'm not quite sure. I think they may be getting ready just by the behavior you're seeing right now. Up above here, this is the, uh, the mixed tank. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of these six black belts here, so if you're interested, let me know. We can try to work something out. Again, like I said, I'm not, uh, with the, uh, with the uh, TriMac, just go to the Aquatic Support Systems website and find my email on there. Shoot me an email. It's brian at aquaticsupportsystems.com. And uh, I'm looking to move these six black belts. Um, they've got some tail nipping and stuff like that they're just not they've colored up very nicely but I've just got too many fish in this tank and um, I want to get rid of them I wish I could keep them but I've got no space this Midas is doing well I think it's a female the motas are doing good there's the male and the female right there and then of course uh, the uh, silver arowana doing good as well I think it's feeding time, because I just came down here. Um, we've got another spawn, this, this, this Trimac pair here is continuously, regularly spawning. You can see uh, some fry, I pulled some and they didn't do too well, I pulled them too early I think. Here is, it's dirty, but here is the uh, Hadeosis um, fry that I pulled. But uh, yeah, this guy, I'm gonna have a hard time trying to decide which of the two, now that I have two TriMet pairs, which of the two I wanna keep. This guy's color is much better, but the other ones are a little bit more mature and bigger. But I think I'm gonna go with color. And eventually, I think he's gonna go to the 180. I think what I'll probably do is when I move, move uh, those six, I'll probably keep the tank divided and have two pairs, one on each side, and see how that works. Um, my Midas Grots, um, that unfortunately are not available for sale because I'm keeping them for myself. A couple of them are starting to color of a yellowish and black or orange and black color you can see there. These guys are doing good. Feed them a little uh, Southern Delight small cichlid here. Got it in a color bottle, but um, it's small cichlid. See them chow down on that. They got a little freaked out from me being so close and uh, there they go. Let's see how much uh, fish just love that Southern Delight. So that's really all I got for you at this point here. Um, I want to thank everybody that subscribes to this channel and watches the videos. Um, make sure you leave a comment. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, hit that like button on your way out and if you're new to this channel make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time that I do do a video. I try to do regular videos on the cichlid tanks, also on my uh, reef tanks and my shrimp tanks. Um, and again if you're looking for any fish food, shrimp food, fish related products, uh, go over to aquaticsupportsystems.com and check it out. I really appreciate it. Um, even if you're not in the market right now or don't need any food, um, if you do me a favor and just go check out the website, um, anytime somebody goes to the website, it helps our traffic and helps us move up on the Google SEO search. So I just appreciate any traffic at this point. So thanks again for watching until next one. Take care.